Welcome back to Candid Football Conversations and we're back with one of our interviews and we have a very special guest today from Vancouver, Sean Hundel. Sean, thanks a lot for taking time off your busy schedule in the Canadian Premier League. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm excited to, to answer some questions. Certain people who might be watching this podcast and who've not heard about you, a successful football player in North America, played for one of the biggest names in world football, one would have to say last season in, in, in the second team of Inter Miami. Now you're with Vancouver FC. How's it going at the moment for you in the Canadian Premier League? It's going good. Um, I, I played in the Canadian Premier League, I think, two years ago for a brief stint of two months during COVID. Uh, made my return this season. I think I per personally, I'm doing well. Uh, scored a few, few goals and stuff, but team's not doing the best. But uh, it's it's a it's a building building for next season. A uh, brand new team this year, so hopefully we get it right for next season. So before we come and talk a little bit more about your uh, career in, in in North America and football, um, you're a, you're a, someone of Indian origin, and then we've been speaking about uh, this for a while, especially with the person who represents you with with Paros and greetings to Paros as well. Being someone of Indian origin, you have the wish, the desire to maybe one day to represent India. Yeah, of course. Uh, I've always, I've always dreamt about it. Uh, my parents grew up in India, lived in India their whole life. They go to back to India two or three times a year. Grandma, grandpa, everyone used to go back. So, um, yeah, that's why I want to play for India uh, whenever the chance presents itself, and uh, hopefully it's sooner than later. And yeah, I just want to, I want to do it for my my family and and see them smile. You know, me playing for. For a country that raised them so we got the news uh, today and we're recording this on a monday that uh, the all india football federation has announced that they're creating a task force for pios ocis uh, uh, how encouraging do you find that the federation now is trying to be proactive on the matter yeah uh i feel like it was a long time coming uh i know there's people in the right in the right uh spots pushing it forward and trying to get it done sooner than later um, but I think it's it's good overall for all the the growth and in, in the sport in all of India. And I think once once this is finally approved and and gets through fully, uh, I think everyone will see all the talent uh, Indian players around the world have and how good the country can be in the biggest sport in the world. So exactly, that's the biggest sport in the world. Let's come a little bit to talk about you as a person. Um, you're 24 years old. Born in Brampton, in the, in, the, in the Indian heartland of Canada, I would say most probably. Uh, how how did you get into playing football? Me personally, I think I think the I got into football because my family moving from India uh, didn't have much. Uh, it was the easiest sport to put your kid in, especially in in Toronto, Brampton, and stuff. You just sign up, and it's the cheapest sport to put your your kid in. And I just happened to be not too bad at it. So so when they when they signed me up, coaches would would ask them about it. Um, Ask them, ask them about me, what my plans are. They don't. My parents didn't know much about the the platform in Canada for soccer and like what the the pathway is to to make it professionally. Until maybe I got to 13, 14 when I was at Toronto FC Academy. That's when they started talking about signing me to professional contracts at 15, 16. So that's when it became very real. And now now my dad is very involved. Uh, he knows a lot about like the business side of soccer and everything. So. It's exciting. It's exciting to, to have to see my, my family, my dad especially, have a new passion, you know, in, in the sport, something that maybe he never thought that he would even care to think about when he was my age. But now that I play soccer, I'm happy to see that he's he's involved in the sport. And uh, yeah, from Toronto FC, I went to uh, Inter Miami and then Inter Miami to Vancouver. So it's been a journey. You've, you've got, of course, your, your, your loan spends, spells as well. Um, but how was it as a kid? getting into sport like football, um, you know, you come from an immigrant background. Um, was the backing there from the parents to, to play the sport or were they a little skeptical as sometimes Indian parents tend to be? Yeah, um, for me, uh, it never really became an option to go professionally until maybe, until honestly the contract was on the table. Uh, for, for my family, it was okay. It's, it's a way for, for me to play and maybe get a a full ride scholarship in the U.S. and a nice, you know, good university and get my education. And then at Toronto FC, that's where they really gave me my dream. Like I, I honestly never really thought about. I've obviously had thoughts about going professionally and I wanted to go professionally, but I never knew how close I was to that goal until the contract was in front of my eyes. Uh, and then when that when I received the contract, I think that's when my my parents had to really take a step back and think. Okay, like this could be 
a real profession for our kid, you know. So um, when I did get the contract, my my dad, my mom, my whole family, they were very supportive. They said that I could go, I could go to school whenever I feel like, just if this is my dream, to just follow it and put put, put my all into it. So uh, I was lucky enough to have parents that understood uh, the the sport and how much it could offer me in my life, and and they've been helping me ever since. So how was it to to be with a with an MLS team like Toronto FC, who of course, are one of the biggest clubs in Canada. It was it was amazing. Uh, when I was there, there were MLS Cup champions, MLS Cup finalists, two two years in a row, Concacaf Champions League finalists. Um, it was amazing. I was 14, 15 years old, training with Javinko, Josie Altador, mm-hmm. Michael Bradley. So I learned so much from them. Uh, all the coaching staff. There's people that I, you know I never lost touch with. People that shaped me into the person I am off the field as well today. And then. Moving from Toronto FC to Inter Miami, it was even even bigger. You know, just seeing David Beckham watching my sessions, um, I became really good friends with a lot of people in that club. Uh, Gonzalo Higuain, he taught me a lot in, of, of finishing and just watching him every day, the way he, he puts the ball in the back of the net and just how consistent he is. So yeah, it's it's nice to be at a young age and you get to learn from people that that already did it at the highest level. You know, so it, it, it helped a lot. You had a great season um, there at, at um, Inter Miami for their for their second team in, in MLS Next. Uh, how has that experience been? How has that prepared you now to to before you now went back to Canada and 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 joined the CPL? It it helped me in the sense where I knew how to play in a more experienced and more mature role. Uh, I know I'm only 24 years old, but I've been playing professionally since I was 16. So it's you know I'm not now my eighth year. So being there kind of taught me how to how to kind of move move around I, how I need to move around on the field and in ways that I never knew before you know like how to manage the game how to how to manage the tempo of the game the runs I need to make in the certain times and stuff like that so learning from from all the staff at Inter Miami and then coming to the Canadian Premier League I feel like I I'm adapting well because of everything I learned in my years before um, yeah I feel like I came off on a good start in Vancouver. And then, and I feel like I'm still, I'm still adding things to my game that I feel like could help, help the team, whatever team I'm on. Inter Miami, uh, if we speak about it, one of the most spoken clubs about in the last two months, really, or less than two months, really. How do you feel? And 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 you can now say, hey, listen, I used to play for that team. And uh, do you miss that opportunity of maybe having shared a dressing room with with someone like Lionel Messi? Yeah, uh, everyone asks me every time. I see someone, <laughs> they always ask, oh, like. You know, it sucks that you had to leave, you know, the year before you came. Uh, but to my defense, I, I, I was lucky enough to play against uh, Argentina. Uh, in a, Right before the World Cup, they, they had a uh, friendly against our, uh, Inter Miami. So I was lucky enough to play on, play on the same field and play against all those players, play against Messi. So I at least can say that, right? But uh, it's I watch every game Inter Miami has now. Um, I talk to all the players still. So I'm happy for everyone that's there right now and get to experience it. And... I'm happy that I, I could have been. I was at the club the the year before, at least, you know. And hopefully, down the road, one more time, I could go back. And that that brings me to the next question. You know, at Vancouver FC, of course, an expansion franchise in Canada. You're back in the CPL. Um, you're 24. You're still young. What are your ambitions as a footballer? Where where would you love to go? Where would you love to play? I want. I've always had in the back of my mind. Uh, I've, I've talked to a few people. I've always wanted to play in India, uh, in the Super Indian Super League. That's always been something that eventually in my career I'd love to, to explore. Um, me coming to Vancouver FC, I'm being coached by Afshin Gopi. He's pretty big in the mm-hmm. Asian uh, Asian community, coached in Iran, uh, the uh, Korean League, uh, China. So uh, that was part of the reason why I really went to Vancouver because such a big name coach who's been in Asia, who understands the Asian culture and and you know, he's done everything in that market. So that's why I really went there. I know he knows a lot of people in India as well. And it's nice to be coached by someone who understands where I come from, where my background is, you know. So uh, after this season, I don't know. I don't, I'm not too sure. I still need to speak to my agent and see what, what the next step is. But um, definitely down the road, uh, I do want to play in the Indian Super League. That's nice. So you heard it here. Sean would love to play in the Indian Super League. But no wishes maybe to play in Europe at some stage or maybe even play for, for an a senior level MLS team. You've, you've played for a couple of them with, with their with their second teams. Would you love yeah. to play MLS, or would you rather like to play in Europe at some stage? Yeah, um, for me, I want I want to play in Europe, of course, but I feel like I don't want to rush the step and 
and go and, and like have to go there and go to a lower league and you know kind of fight my way through. Ideally, I would love to go to MLS first team, uh, play a bunch of games, make a name for myself, and then make a jump to Europe or wherever I see fit. You know, um, that's always the the dream and the goal. And then because I know once once I make the MLS, a lot of doors open. You know, so that's that's the main goal. And then from there, we see what happens. You said earlier you want to play for for India down the road, um, but you've played for Canada at youth level. How was that experience? It was good. It was amazing. I played in the all. I mean, I think I played in all the youth youth systems. Uh, I played with all the guys on the men's national team that are there now. Um, it was an amazing experience uh, playing with the guys. You know, I've seen guys literally grow right in front of me. They're playing. Yeah, it's amazing, and I made lifelong friendships with a lot of them. And it's it's nice to see what a lot of them are doing, and hopefully. Uh, Someone from India can do that one day too. Excellent, Sean. To end on a personal note, footballer, of course, you train a lot. There's a lot of things that you have to take care of a lot when it comes to diet and other things and physical fitness. Um, what do you do in your off time? What 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 are the likes of a Sean Hundle? What do you want to do when you don't have to care and don't have to bother about football? Usually, what I do on my off days right now is I go, I go on a lot of bike rides. Uh, I picked that up uh, in Vancouver. There's a lot of nice scenery, a lot of nice mountains and nice trails. So that's that's what I've been doing, just going on bike rides and and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, movies. So <laughs> when you live alone uh, in Vancouver and you don't know many people other than your teammates, you you have to find hobbies to uh, pick up. And I think biking is the newest one I picked up. So so biking it is. Um, yeah. Any interactions with the the Indian or the Asian community, which is quite big in Vancouver per se, or or is that something which due to your hectic schedule with the club that you get limited time to interact with people no uh it's actually very very surprising i know surrey surrey and brampton are two of the, probably the biggest cities outside of india that have a lot of population um and our on our game days there's a lot of indian people that come out to the games and and come say hi to me after the game and stuff so it, it's always a great feeling knowing that you know like i i caught the eye of someone from our culture and someone who supports me and it kind of reminds me of how much how much more i have to do to uh make everyone else proud not just my family but people outside of outside of india that live in surrey brampton or wherever that have the dreams of being a professional you know footballer um and yeah i just work hard and uh, whoever whoever wants to say hi to me I, i can make the most most time i can and and say hi so and the last and final question desi food desi food i like rajma chawal uh <laughs> i like go- goat meat my dad makes a lot of that so i eat that and then okay. yeah Butter chicken obviously is the <laughs> the main. <laughs> it's the go-to thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the Punjabi roots come through. Yeah, yeah. So, Sean, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, great chatting to you, and hopefully, uh, in the future, I'll be able to see you live, maybe in North America, or maybe even here in Europe or in India. Hopefully, yeah. in an India shirt, maybe one day. Yeah. And um, it's great that you took the time off uh, of your busy schedule to to speak to me. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Well, guys, this was the latest episode of. Candid Football Conversations, Sean Hundel, our guest. Do like, share and subscribe and do follow him also on his social medias. Thanks a lot and bye guys.